here in Uptown also, there's so many cool people. Like, we got people with dope bikes. Hey, what's up? Hey, can we go to the restaurant? Hey, there it's from Vitamin Babe. I want to appreciate you sending the PR package. We appreciate it. Just so you guys know, I don't vape. So, won't be using this. But if you do, here you go. Check them out. Vitamin Babe. Thanks again, Vitamin Babe, for sending the package. Really appreciate it. And look forward to do other things with you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Kajis TV. Kajis TV. Kajis TV. Hey, Kajis TV. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Kajis TV. And today, I got a special video. A special video. These are three things you got to do when you're in Uptown. Are you guys tired of just going to Dallas and not knowing what to do? See, Dallas is a big city, and we have so many cool things. The cool thing about the South is when you're in Uptown, you can literally just walk, meet casual people. Everybody are just exercising. Like, there's cool people right in front of you, see? Just having fun. All right. The cool thing about Griggs Park is there's so many people here. If you want to just get nature, cool aesthetic, they got so many people here just walking. You could literally run into people you don't even know. You can meet people for the first time. Like, you have people doing stretching, yoga. It's famous for their dog parks. It has so much history. So... This was built in 1915. It's actually a historic monument. It's almost 100 years old. That's crazy. Like in Seattle, we don't have shit like that. But this has so much history. If you look at 1915, 1945, 1965, 1976. If you want to just, I don't know, learn more about history. I'm not a historian. I don't really care about history. But if you are, it's a great spot to just learn about your community. Look, if you look at the wide shot, look at this beautiful aesthetic. You have all the green, you have the scenery, we have the nice apartments, and then people come here and they do free classes. I'm today's not gym day. So. <laughs> So a new addition they added to the park are these flowers. I don't know why, but it built the aesthetic. Maybe because it's spring summer vibes. It just picks up, but it's really cool. So it's just cool, you know, just have fun, just hang out, smell the roses if you know what I mean. <laughs> you know, I'm always a firm believer when you're on a date, just come to a park. People come here and have picnic dates all the time. People actually like behind us. It's free. It's free, you know what I'm saying? You can't be free. You can't be free. And then, look, if you turn around why they go here, this is why people go here. Let me show you why people go here. If you look at it from this point of view, you see this city. So, you get the view of downtown Dallas. Great way to just shoot your shot, you know, shoot some game, make sure your riz is ready. But you can be like, oh, what do you think of the shot? You can take pictures, have fun, and you can just be chill. I feel like the best dates are just casual, chill. Great way to just laugh and talk. Oh, another cool thing is when you're at the park, there's always pretty people. Like, they have pretty ladies right here. See, like, they have great aesthetic, they have fashion. People in Uptown, they have so much cool things. Like, we have Express, we have Nordstrom, we have Lululemons. Like, look at that pink, the pink. My cheek. And then, you know, and then you got cool stuff. And yeah. And then they have in and out Yes, they do have in and out in Texas. It sucks, but it's all good. People come here. I'm not a dog person. I'm not going to say it out loud. But yeah, if you have a dog and you want to have play dates and have meetups, if you look, people bring their dogs. You know, their other child, if you know what I mean. But we're just going to let that sink in. But everybody has their dog, laugh around, play. I don't want to get blackballed, so I'm not going to say any more things. But look at the footage of the dog. Uh, yes, actually, there's a... <laughs> there you go. Aw, the dog. See, look. Look at them. Fight. Fight. Yeah. Dogs. 
So, the cool spot that people like to come to is the sports bar. It's a famous sports bar in Dallas. If you actually look on Yelp and on Google, Nodding Donkeys open till 2 a.m. It has all the sports. It has all the TVs. It has okay food, so you know. Their food's okay. But they have a lot of games. They have a lot of sports. They have so much food. Look at all these kind of people. It's a Tuesday, and people are having fun on happy hour. You know, go Dallas Stars. I think they're still, they just won. But they have all the food. They have patio so your dogs can hang out. Nodding Donkey is just a cool, nice little sports bar. I'm not really into sports bars, but if you are, this is the spot because it's a cool, casual hangout spot for a date or to catch up with a friend. Nodding Donkey. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so the cool thing is when you're in Uptown also, there's so many cool people. Like we got people with dumb bikes. Hey, what's up? Hey, can we go to the restaurant? Hey, there <laughs> And then, see, Nodding Donkey, you always meet dope people like these fellas. Got it. All right, we can cut. All right, so another spot you gotta check out is State and Allen. So State and Allen, if you look, has cool. Has great door, outdoor seating. Like if you look, people are always outside, just having fun. You can literally just meet people. They bring their dogs. You can just literally just talk. Uh, one thing I like to do when I'm here, I just like to catch up with a friend. See, when you catch up with a friend, it's nice to chill, casual spot. People are always outside. They're doing their things. They're hanging. They're being friends. They have outdoor seating. They have indoor seating. The best part is their drinks are actually pretty good. The drinks are actually pretty good. My favorite item to order here is don't don't judge. I like plant based, but the shrimp salad. The shrimp salad is so good. It's breaded shrimp with the best sauce ever. I don't even know what the dressing is. It's some sort of Thousand Island, but this is it. This is it. Especially when you pay the price. It is 15 bucks. You gotta pay a premium, but it's worth it. But, and then when you're done walking, talking to people, you can literally be like, yo, let's just hang out, meet people. And you can be like, you can meet cool people. Like, he has a dope shirt. Like, I really appreciate the shirt. Okay? Alabama, hey, hey, roll tide. Roll tide, baby. Roll tide. So, that's another spot you gotta check out when you're in Dallas. I think that's all. I just realized, oh yeah, we can just get B-roll people. I realized, yeah, the mints for me is literally a Hey, Icebreaker Cool Mints, if you want to sponsor this video, sponsor the video, because that really helps my thoughts to be chill, calm, and it helps my brain not to be so scattered. But yeah, Icebreaker Cool Mints. If you want to sponsor this, let me know, because we can definitely partner, because you are a brand I would love to work with. Appreciate it, big dog. Yeah, I got you. Uh, Is that recording now? Yep. Yeah. Oh.